Here we can see the appendix affected by neuroendocrine tumor. Um, the typical localization for neuroendocrine tumor of the appendix is the tip of the appendix, and we can see the tumor here. Uh, this is the lumen of the appendix. Here we can see the epithelium on the top with crypts, uh, with mucosa, uh, with quite prominent mucosa-associated lymphoid tissue with activated germinal centers. Here we see the submucosa and the muscularis propria and serosa. Uh, the neuroendocrine tumor is composed of solid nests. Um, and on higher magnification, we can see uniform cells with round uh, nuclei with characteristic chromatin, uh, which is also described as salt and pepper chromatin or stippled chromatin. Uh, I think stippled is a much better word, uh, but uh, salt and pepper means that well, we can see uh, the lighter, lighter areas and um, the dot-like darker part of the chromatin. So the lighter areas, that's salt, and the darker areas, that's pepper. Um, neuroendocrine tumors uh, usually don't have uh, prominent nucleoli, so we can see just small nucleoli here and there. We shouldn't see uh, a huge uh, or large nucleoli. On the periphery of the solid nests, we can see palisading on the cells, and in between the solid nests, we can see fibrovascular um, septi. Um, the grading of the neuroendocrine tumor is based on mitotic activity, and uh, when we can find less than two mitotic figures in 10 high power field, we can diagnose grade 1 neuroendocrine tumor. Then from 2 to 20, that's grade 2 and more than 20 mitotic figures per 10 high power field, that's neuroendocrine carci carcinoma. We should also prove the neuroendocrine origin of these cells by immunohistochemistry. So the two characteristic uh, neuroendocrine markers, synaptophysin and chromogranin, are commonly, commonly positive. Uh, the neuroendocrine tumor of the appendix is commonly incidental finding. Therefore, uh, it is necessary to submit uh, the section of the tip of the appendix and all uh, the appendices uh, removed for acute appendicitis. Um, <clears throat> part of these tumors can actually uh, secrete serotonin and some of them can be associated with carcinoid syndrome, um, meaning flushing, diarrhea or asthma. But, uh, um, but these signs are, uh, are found only in case of um, liver metastasis. If uh, the neuroendocrine tumor is localized uh, in the gastrointestinal tract, uh, the serotonin is metabolized by the liver and it won't get to the systemic circulation. Uh, okay, so that's neuroendocrine tumor in the appendix. Thanks for watching.